uh, yes, they can definitely uh, uh, discourage uh, whistleblowers, but not only whistleblowers, they can also discourage uh, reporters as well. Um, that was precisely why I chose to uh, uh, go back to court and to attack uh, PwC in order to uh, avoid uh, what was made by the, by, uh, the auditing company uh, when they went to one of my uh, uh, sources home and, uh, and, and seized his uh, uh, computers in order to seize the, the correspondence between him and me. Uh, <clears throat> this was a clear uh, breach of, uh, of uh, source protection. And, uh, and yet, when I, uh, when I went to court uh, in order to have this uh, breach of uh, sources protection uh, recognized, it was not recognized, but not on that ground. It was, uh, the case was uh, uh, settled against my, uh, my, uh, my, my will because they said I had no interest to uh to sue in court they said why are you suing now because it was after the case so in fact they didn't uh i mean the, the judgment was not uh, on the breach itself but on on the merits i i had or uh had not uh to to sue so it was a um, quite a pity to uh, to uh, to have this uh, result but overall yeah the the uh, if you look at the, the whole case, whether in, uh, in in Luxembourg or in France or now in uh, the European Court of uh, Human Rights in in Strasbourg, it was one of the two uh, uh, sources, uh, uh, Raphael Allais, He he sued Luxembourg in uh, in the European Court of uh, Human Rights, and uh, and he lost in in the first uh, uh, in the first uh, instance. So. Uh, now, uh, I think he's going to uh, ask the court um, to look at his case again, uh, but uh, in front of the Grand Chamber. So it's up to uh, the, the, the court to see whether or not they grant this uh, review at the Grand Chamber. And, uh, and it's going to be an interesting case too, because uh, so far, the European Court of uh, Human Rights have um, kind of... Uh, uh, reversed their uh, uh, case law on, uh, on whistleblowers. So, so it's a very impo important case, a bad one, but an, an important one. That's why it's ongoing. I think they act in the, uh, in in the public interest. I mean, for for uh, Del Tour and, and Ale, that was clear. And in other cases, when it involves, uh, let's say, public health, it's in the public interest. So it's not only a matter of uh, ethics, of personal ethics, but also a matter of uh, um, citizens' responsibility as a whole. interesting because um, uh, right now it has not been uh, transposed in France yet so it seems like France is taking its time to, to do so which is interesting because uh, when uh, when they had to uh, transpose the uh, trade secrets directive they went far quicker than, uh, than, than this so it shows priorities too. Uh, this should be transposed uh, at uh, the maximum uh, uh, magnitude possible. Because we, in fact, in France, we had a, a law uh, that was enacted before this directive that was protecting uh, whistleblowers, but it was very limited and it had some uh, um, very serious drawbacks, such as uh, uh, the, the, in order to be, uh, to, to, launch the alerts you had to go first within internal channels which means most of the time you won't be able to do this because if you are going to see your boss and uh, let's take the uh, lexics example and you're going to tell your boss well, what are you doing here i mean this is this is uh, uh, something that that goes against the uh, the public interest i mean you're going to get fired and uh, and nothing will happen so this is a very important point that 
you should be able to launch the alert uh, via an external channel, if possible, the press or something else. Also, what should be uh, uh, what should be included in this transposition should be uh, the fact that uh, uh, unions or, or, or moral uh, uh, persons and not only physical persons should be able to be um, uh, uh, designated as uh, as whistleblowers, because sometimes I mean individuals won't do what uh, uh, a union will do in order to launch the alert. So that should be something that should be considered too. I know that, I, I mean, for, in France, it's always uh, seen as uh, uh, not really polite to talk about money, you know, and we don't want to uh, be seen as uh, uh, giving incentives, uh, financial incentives for people to launch uh, alerts. But uh, at, uh, at the minimum, uh, there should be some kind of a, of a fund to compensate uh, whistleblowers because uh, they lose a lot financially. <clears throat> you lose your professional life. You have to reach your, retrain and change your, your career. Uh, uh, legal costs are, are, are uh, a huge uh, uh, problem. Uh, for instance, I know that uh, Antoine Deltour or Rafael Alese spend close to uh, 100,000 euros to defend themselves. So, I mean, you're talking about very serious money there. So th there should be some financial incentive and, and protection for sure. And the, the, the last point I, I'd like to make is... Uh, uh, once the alert is uh, is uh, is um, launched, it should be up to the institution or the company or the uh, the body that is responsible for for what the whistleblower is denouncing to show that he, I mean, he did not do or they did not do what is uh, what they are accused of. I mean, the burden of proof should be on them and not on the whistleblower to prove uh, his case. I mean. Of course, he should uh, give uh, uh, evidence of uh, what he's denouncing, but uh, then it should be up to the uh, attacked uh, uh, institution to prove its uh, its uh, good face and uh, and uh, and have the burden of proof. Uh, they should have a. Uh, uh, I mean. In the first place, uh, the existing laws should be uh, should be uh, uh, respected. Uh, then that's a start. I mean, personally, that's what did not happen, which is, I mean, uh, the, the protection of sources. And uh, there are laws in France to protect this. Clearly, uh, they were breached, and and nothing happened. So, I mean, in to make it short, I mean. Uh, Protection granted to uh, uh, to reporters should be should be uh, uh, construed in, the, in in the largest uh, uh, scope possible and respected because it's not a, a protection per se. It's not a protection for the reporters uh, in itself. It's I mean it's a protection for the the public interest because if if we're not able to protect sources, then we're not able to do our job properly, and then and and then the public at large won't uh, won't benefit from uh, what we are transmitting. I, I, I was not saying that internal channel is not working. I was saying that there should be two uh, uh, channel uh, open because uh, because. Uh, I, I don't think uh, a lot of companies or institutions do have uh, the system you're describing. So yes, I mean, uh, making sure that uh, that uh, you cannot track back the uh, information to the uh, to the person uh, uh, is uh, is uh, is important. But then uh, the drawback of this system is if the information stays anonymous, then you will have difficulties in order to uh, uh, make it stand. So uh, that's why it's important for, uh, I mean, depending on the case, but uh, <clears throat> of course, it's uh, some cases, it's going to be really important for the person that launched the alert to, to be seen and heard because it's, um, 
uh, function will uh, will add enormous weight to uh, the information it delivers. If, for instance, uh, he has responsibility in the field, he's he's uh, launching the alerts, uh, then then he will be seen as uh, or she will be seen as uh, somebody that uh, that uh, not only has the information but has the capability to uh, to denounce it. So. I don't know if I'm uh, if I'm uh, clear in, in what I'm saying, but uh, sometimes the function of the the, the, the whistleblowers or his job is uh, at least as important as the information he's providing. The, the clearest example is uh, Snowden. I mean, uh, uh, the information Snowden revealed would have been nothing if it was not provided by someone who perfectly understood what he was delivering and who could give the perspective and, and, and the scope of what he was uh, uh, revealing. Uh, I hope we can still do, yeah. Uh, I mean, what happened to Daphne uh, was, uh, was, I mean, uh, a, a close call for, 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 for a lot of us because it was, uh, I mean, it was within the EU uh, and, and she was not the only one. I mean, uh, uh, you had uh, uh, the Slovak uh, reporter and his uh, wife that were killed. Uh, uh, Jan, I think, is, was his first name. Uh, and that was shortly after. So, I mean, it's the, for so far we, I mean, <clears throat> we we are faced with, let's say, legal dangers, but not uh, not, not not physical one. But I say so far because you never know. The good thing is uh, uh, that working in, in in working in cooperation with other reporters tend to. Uh, decrease the, the the risk because it spreads the uh, the uh, uh, responsibility of the publication into numerous countries and uh, and and then there is uh, less uh, incentive for people you know to 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 uh, shut one messenger when you have dozens so that's the idea it's, uh, it's like uh, then it's like a whack a mole game I mean yeah you can like uh, silence one but uh, there are 15 of them 20 of them so which was not the case of uh, uh, in, uh, in in Malta unfortunately she was basically alone that was my point I mean <clears throat> not only it helps uh, tremendously when uh, when when you talk about the investigation itself because you can share a lot of information and you can uh, uh, you can investigate uh, um, in a in a in a more uh, in, in a wider and and, and more uh, precise way uh, a complex issue whatever it is uh, so that's one uh, one thing uh, and the other thing is of course uh, uh, um, coll collective protection because of what I described and uh, I should also point out that I'm. I'm uh, I'm presiding the uh, uh, organization that's in, that that's known as uh, Forbidden Stories, and, uh, and I don't know if you heard this, but uh, we we published the Daphne project precisely on uh, Daphne Caruana, and and the idea is uh, that uh, if you want to kill or silence a reporter, we will uh, make sure that the investigation this reporter has started will continue. Not only will it continue, it will be expanded by uh, dozens of reporters so and we are working on uh, on, uh, on this we so we did the Daphne project and uh, we also uh, uh, recently produced a cartel project about uh, Mexican journalists because it's another place where uh, it's extremely dangerous to to do this job so the idea is uh, should you want to silence one you won't be able to silence all so uh, and, and not only will we uh, um, keep on the investigation and, and expand the investigation, but we will give this investigation 
a far uh, wider audience than uh, it had at the beginning. We play on the uh, Streisand effect, you know. You want to kill a story, you make it only bigger. Uh, so, so that's, I mean, it's small steps, but I think there are steps in the right direction. I think that was the case, yeah. And uh, most of the time uh, in the audience, people say, oh, so it, <clears throat> it's still going on. So what you did was uh, not really helpful. I, 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 don't, I don't see it that way. I think that uh, every time you move, uh, uh, you move one, one, one step, you don't come back. And, uh, and, and you see, you, you can, you can uh, verify this uh, uh, with the way the international legislation has changed in uh, in some of uh, some of the fields we we investigated, uh, because that was known. What we what we revealed was known within small circles, you know, and the people who knew knew, but the the, the public at large did not. And once uh, the public at large knew, then that forced them to make the changes that they knew were coming, but that they didn't want to, uh, to enact. So slowly, uh, it's, uh, it's getting better. I mean, the exchange of information, you have to remember this, but uh, a decade ago, uh, 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 there was hardly no uh, tax information exchange at all between countries. Basically, if France wanted to know something about Switzerland, they had to know already what they were looking for in order to ask it, because it, you could not say, oh, give me all the information, I will sort it out. That was completely uh, 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 forbidden and, 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 and did not exist. And, uh, and now we have uh, automatic tax exchange. So that's one example of uh, something that was un unheard of at the time and that nobody, and especially the countries that would be affected by this, no countries wanted to do and now this is something that's uh, uh, that's in the mainstream, and that, and and you're not going to uh, go back the other way on uh, on this. I I don't know what to answer to this because that's uh, that's you know that's supposition. So. You can answer either way. Uh, uh, some people said that because of his uh, implication in this, and he had to do much more than uh, a person that would not have been uh, implicated, maybe. But you could say the contrary too. So I have, I mean, it's, I don't want to suppose anything. The, the, the only thing that is certain uh, is that before the, the Juncker Commission, uh, the, the previous commission had started to uh, look at these issues because they knew it was uh, something that was against the public interest at large in, in, in the union. And, and, and they knew that to do something. The issue was since it's a tax matter, you can only uh, rule by the unanimity rule with taxes. So that was not something they would be able to achieve because of course states like Ireland and, and, and the Netherlands and Luxembourg of course would, uh, would vote no. Uh, so uh, they devised a way in which they could attack uh, these agreements uh, through not the tax uh, channel but through the uh, illegal uh, state aid angle and for that you did not need the uh, uh, unanimous uh, uh, voting but only a majority and that's and, and that was started uh, in the previous commission and when uh, Juncker came uh, uh, the um, competition uh, commissioner was uh, Margaret Vestager from uh, from uh, uh, Denmark and uh, and she took over, and that's what she used in order to go after Amazon, in order to go after uh, Apple, in order to go after different uh, multinationals. That you are uh, uh, illegally aided by a state 
in order to pay less taxes. So it's an illegal aid and, and then therefore a breach of, uh, of uh, competition uh, balance within the union. So that was kind of uh, um, smart. Uh, it did not work all the time because uh, of course those, uh, those are really complex uh, tax investigations. And if you look at the results, I mean, uh, the summaries are, are hundreds of pages long. Just the summaries. So, and of course, uh, the multinationals do have uh, uh, hordes of lawyers in, in order to defend themselves. So it's it's uh, it's really complex. But uh, but that was the only way they could uh, they could use this, and that was during the Juncker Commission. And uh, and for sure, in those cases, Juncker could not be seen doing anything uh, close to uh, uh, move against this because he knew what would happen. For starter, I mean, he was the one who signed the tax agreement uh, with Amazon in 2003. So he perfectly knew what he was doing. Whatever happens, I mean, you, you, I mean, I know it, it might sound uh, uh, like pompous and, and, and easy to say so, but uh, whatever the uh, 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 the consequences, I mean, you should follow the story. I mean, that's something you are there for. And that's your mission. So if you don't want to, I mean, quit and, and uh, change your job, but uh, uh, that's that's for one thing. I mean, if you have to pursue, pursue and, and, and follow the lead. Uh, the other thing is um, pay real attention to uh, the way you exchange with your uh, uh, your 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 sources and uh, and, and 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 be really careful uh, as to the consequences uh, uh, your investigation will have uh, on them and, and and you have to balance this uh, the story and the consequences.